I waited six months to get the last word. My ex-boyfriend wanted to see a sold-out show to the Foo Fighters this summer. Him and his friends failed desperately in getting their hands on any tickets. I, however, managed to snag two. I waited until Christmas to give them to him, and he was beyond excited, jumping up and down excited. Fast forward one and a half terrible months later, and he dumped me two days before Valentine's Day after, literally, ignoring me for three weeks. The entire breakup blindsided me after one and a half years together. I haven't talked to him since, but little does he know that I wasn't quite finished with him yet. My brother just so happens to be a huge Foo Fighters fan as well. I logged into my Ticketmaster account and surprise, surprise, tickets can be transferred. So my brother is going to have the time of his life while my ex-boyfriend gets turned around at doors. Sucks to suck. Update. So many of you wanted an update, and here it is. This morning I received a text message from my brother letting me know that he could no longer make it to the concert, but that we would sell them instead. I figured, as the concert is tonight, that I would message my ex-boyfriend and give him the chance to buy them or I would sell them to someone else. He never answered me so I posted them online, was contacted quickly by a few people as the show is sold out. I sold them to a nice girl who was taking her boyfriend for a fair price. Never thought about it after. Around supper tonight, about five-ish, my phone suddenly starts going crazy. I have a message from my friend saying my ex was texting her looking for my number. My dear friend, being the wonderful gal she is, actually gave it to him. About 39 seconds later, no less, I am suddenly getting an incoming call from him. Like hell I am answering. I let it go to voicemail, while I am listening to the voicemail he left me. I still want those tickets. Please don't tell me you sold them, let me know. My phone was getting multiple text messages. Six messages in about eight seconds from his friend. We drove all this way and paid for gas and hotel, seriously. Another friend. Hey, did you sell the bleeping tickets? He wanted me to ask. Decided to enjoy my supper, and then maybe I would answer them. Being the nice gal that I am, I told them that yes, I sold them. Last thing my ex says, thanks for that. So now they're in a city two hours away, stuck in a hotel room for the night with nothing to do, while the foos put on a slamming show.